What's up, people? What's going on? TC with IOBA. So here we go with that. Um, I'm, uh, here we go with that. I ain't said that shit in a long time. I used to say that shit to my drill team kids before we got started. Anyway, I'm sitting here checking out some Professor Black Truth. And he's talking about, he's, uh, he's speaking on, you know, Joy Reid, you know, the Nigerian second generation immigrant who, uh, you know, she, she had a breakfast club interview a couple of days ago. And I think I, I might have mentioned it in one of my videos. Anyway, he's talking about her and, um, and uh, people like her. Now, I said the other day that, you know, uh, second generation immigrant, Im immigrants seem to be against, you know, reparations for uh, ADOS. And, um, and uh, so he's kind of speaking on how they don't, how second generation immigrants, he's kind of concurring and saying that they don't have uh, foundational black Americans' interests at heart, right? See, ADOS and foundational black Americans, I use that term, those terms, you know, interchangeably because they kind of mean the same fucking thing. Anyway, so I have to agree, man. They really don't think or don't seem to understand the reparations question. So there's a guy, a mayor down in Miramar, Miramar Florida, down near Miami, the black mayor. I forget his name. He was on the Breakfast Club a couple of days ago. I don't really want to call his fucking name anyway. But he is uh, running for president. He's one of those guys, one of those Democrats that's so far down the line that he don't even make the first debate. He says he's about to be or almost in the second debate, but he basically running to make a name for himself for later on down the road because I don't even think the guy's 40 yet. He look. He looks to me a lot like Andrew Gillum um, out of Tallahassee. He looks like him, but he's um, he's uh, born of two Jamaican parents. He's a second generation American, and when they hit him with the question about um, reparations, he he just danced all around it, just like the other Democrats do. And um, and um, he come from a upper middle class Jamaican family here in the United States, so he can't really relate. And they all say the same shit about, you know, knowing, you know, now that they've educated themselves as to the true history of black people in this country, uh, when you ask them a question about reparations, they start telling us about how bad we had it over the years and how much we deserve it, but it shouldn't come in the form of cash. So all these motherfuckers feel the same way. Like I said, man, I've been... Um, I just left the Caribbean, and um, I associate with Caribbeans all the time. And goddamn, I, I hear them all say, y'all deserve reparations. We deserve reparations. I mean, in their Caribbean voices. We deserve reparations, but we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. They just call that negativity, negativity into, the, into, the, uh, into the atmosphere. But I'm gonna tell you something. Now, this idea just now popped into my head. If the if the black immigrants, second generation immigrants, the ones with power and influence in this country, got on the same fucking page as us, maybe we could get on the same fucking page as them, and support them in their efforts with Caricom. Just saying. But right now, as the situation stands, ain't nobody got no allies. Least of all, black Americans, foundational black Americans, ADOS. We don't have any allies. We all we got. We don't, have, we don't have other black immigrants. We don't have brown immigrants. We don't have illegals. We don't have, we definitely don't have white people. But the way I see it, fuck them. I don't want them because they don't seem to understand. A debt is old. It's a simple fucking debt is old. And they're trying to talk that shit about they don't who you're going to pay, how far back you're going to go, who the descendants are, how much it's going to be, and all of that bullshit. How, how is it going to be paid out? All of that bullshit is logistics, and they pay people hundreds of thousands of year, dollars a year to figure that shit out. But it's really not that hard if me sitting here talking to my microphone can figure it out. 
you know what I'm saying, with my community college ass. If I can figure it out, they can figure the shit out. You know. But anyway, I'm going to just leave that set there and um, and um, go my ass on in to work. Y'all take it easy. Hit me with the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you dig what I'm saying, leave it alone if you don't, because I really don't care. And I will catch y'all on the next one. TC, and I'm out.